Hey guys, today I'll be talking to you guys about bigorexia, also known as muscle dysmorphia, which is the scientific name for it, or reverse anorexia nervosa. Muscle dysmorphia is an obsessive compulsive disorder, and it occurs in um, typically male bodybuilders, but can also, but there are also cases of women bodybuilders having it too. Um, when you have muscle dysmorphia, you become obsessed with the size of your muscles, and you typically think that you're um, you tell yourself that your mind, uh, you tell yourself that your mind is wrong and that you're not as big as you think that you are, that you're underdeveloped and that you're weak. Um, men who suffer from muscle dysmorphia will spend excessive amounts of time in the gym, dieting and analyzing their bodies in mirrors to see how they can get bigger and taking anything that will say that they're going to get bigger. So some signs of muscle dysmorphia is constantly worrying about muscle size. So if like someone like he's always worrying about, oh, like I feel like I look small, like I'm not, I'm not feeling good in my body, but they're very muscular and very big. Um, that's one sign. Excessive amounts of time in working out in the gym is also another sign. So if you have like a friend or someone that is always working out and always worried about their physique, and like there's like, oh, I'm just gonna go to the gym, and then they don't show up for hours later, that can be like a great sign that they're actually starting to develop muscle dysmorphia. Um, so another sign is weighing themselves several times a day. So people with muscle dysmorphia will, they're worried about their size and their weight, so they will weigh three, four, five, even six times a day to see how they change throughout the day. Um, people with muscle dysmorphia will also typically wear baggier clothing. Um, instead of like a tight clothing to um, show off their muscles, it's actually like the opposite for someone that's very muscular. They're going to wear very baggy clothing to hide their bodies because they're ashamed of their bodies. There's no real cause of muscle dysmorphia, but science has shown that um, it can be related to genetics. So if like, one of, like your father or your mother had it, you may be more um, inclined to get it as you grow older. There's an interesting part of it, uh, which is like the brain differences. So if you have an insufficient amount of serotonin, it can affect your mood and well-being, which could like um, change the way that you think about your body to where you um, you think that you're actually smaller than you really are, or that you're not as um, developed, making you worry about your body and your weight even more. There have been great signs showing that bullying and like emotional trauma throughout your childhood um, is related to people getting and uh, and. Um, developing muscle dysmorphia throughout their life. Um, so some treatments for muscle dysmorphia. Um, there, are very, there are very effective treatments for muscle dysmorphia and um, if you have, if someone that you love or someone that you know you think may have muscle dysmorphia, these are always things that you can try out. Um, it's, it's treated in similar ways as other body dysmorphic disorders. So first method is involved a cognitive behavioral therapy and then it's also paired with antidepressants. Um, when they're used together, they treat the sy symptoms of muscle dysmorphia and help to reduce the thoughts of their appearance and constantly look in the mirror. It may also help the person become um, gain more control over their compulsive behaviors. So these are just a few quick facts on the signs, the treatments, and the causes of um, muscle dysmorphia. Um, it's very pronounced in the uh, bodybuilding world, and that's why we see steroids and... Um, and drugs used, used among thousands of bodybuilders throughout the years to gain muscle. Um, and people usually, if they have muscle dysmorphia, they won't say that they do because they're not even aware of it. But um, someone that is aware of it can be, they can, you can have muscle dysmorphia and be aware of it. And you can uh, be very aware of it and you can, uh, you can fight it and you can understand what's going on and why your brain's telling you this and you can be fully aware of what's going on. Um, so it's just, that's a really interesting thing. Uh, so I'm hoping, I hope that this video on uh, muscle dysmorphia, also known as bigorexia in the bodybuilding world, is, uh, has helped your knowledge through um, the biggest uh, disease shown in uh, bodybuilders. Next week I'll be making a video on the bulking and the cutting phases possibly in two different videos, but it will be talking about like nutrition and stuff like that. Um, and that will probably, I'm not going to say when it will be out because I'm not totally sure. Um, but I will see you guys then, and thanks for watching, and goodbye.